Hey everyone, Paul Bertarelli reporting from Aero in Friedrichshafen, Germany, where this piece of work is front and center this year. This is an aircraft serial hybrid drive project called Hipster, and it's being undertaken by a consortium of companies including Pipistro in Slovenia. Ambitious? It sure is. Here's how it works. Uh, Hipster is an EU frame pro Framework Program 7 sponsored project. It's a consortium of partners led by Pipistra, two universities and Siemens is also present. So the project is now mature for ground testing. This is actually what is going on. Uh, it was interrupted to have the appearance here uh, at the Aero 2016. So we've put quite some hours on the components and also as a system as a whole. The basic system is a serious hybrid powertrain, meaning that the propeller is driven by a big electric motor and there's a generator bit which is uh, tacked here in between the system. Uh, there's also a battery on board. Uh, normally with the Pantera it would be housed in the wings so we don't see it here. Uh, basically given a combination of the prop being driven from the power of the generator or the battery or any combination of the two. So the internal combustion engine that's used here is a modified version of the Rotex 912. It's uh, beefed up towards 100 kilowatts power rating. Uh, the gearbox is removed and in place we have an electrical machine which is converting mechanical torque from the Rotex into electrical current. Uh, the drive motor is uh, a very high power density Siemens design. Um, it weighs around 45 kilograms with all the accessories. Uh, it has mechanical coolant pumps, mechanical oil, oil pumps for lubrication and a hydraulic governor. The system weight, including the batteries, is basically on par with the diesel engine of the same horsepower. So if you compare it to an SMA 230, that's where about we are. So the rated power of the system is 200 kilowatts. This is basically what the main electric motor can put up to the prop, regardless of the temperature, outside temperature and air density. So basically your takeoff power always can be 200 kilowatts. On the side of the generator, we have roughly 100 kilowatts power available. So half of that, which is supporting crews at about 160, 170 knots. In the case of Pantera, if the operation is on battery alone, the battery can support a full 200 kilowatts. So throughout 2016 we'll be conducting further ground tests to validate all the failure modes, the performance, the cooling aspects. So there are also engine covers with the belonging uh, cooling inlets and outlets. Of course we're just uh, showing off the internal installation over here. And once this is worked out we will progress hopefully to the flying stage which is not funded at the moment but I'm sure that this is the next logical step uh, for the powertrain that we have here. So it definitely is moved into 2017 at the moment. So uh, there is a, a really extensive ground test phase planned because this is a novel system. Uh, nobody has ever attempted a hybrid powertrain, serious hybrid powertrain of this power magnitude. Uh, but also what's important to mention is that uh, the, reliabi the reliability figures that are exhibited in this particular powertrain are compliant to what is demanded by part 23, uh, also the new part 23. And this is all being verified in the, in the ground test. So it's not only about power delivery, it's also about determining the actual levels of reliability. So uh, Hipster has its own website, it's www.hipster.eu and this is where all the materials including videos, uh, brochures, public reports about the project are available now and will be available also after the completion of the project which is in the mid-summer 2016.